Hey guys, that's Christy with Christy's Custom Creations. And today I want to show you how I made a heat box for my turners. Um, the benefits to a heat box are that you can get your cups to dry super, super fast. Like you're able to handle your cups within an hour or two of putting epoxy on them. Uh, which is great if you are trying to get orders done quickly or you just don't want to wait eight hours for your epoxy to dry. So I, I use numerous different types of epoxy. I like to use Barizzle. I like to use Tumblr epoxy. Uh, there's quite a few different kinds of epoxy that I, that I really like to work with, but they all have extended drying times. So it's difficult when they take eight hours to dry to knock a bunch of orders out in a hurry. So this heat box that I made will actually cover four of my turners here. So I can spend four cups at a time and they will be dry like that. They literally dry, like I said, within like an hour or two, which is great. So basically I got a, a big tote. Um, I bought this from Lowe's. It was like $14 and some change after taxes. It was like 15 bucks. So I got this, I like to use a clear tote because I wanna be able to see my tumblers. I wanna make sure that nothing has happened. They don't have any bad spots while they're spinning. Heaven forbid, nothing's falling off the, um, off the turner. So I like to be able to see them. So with this tote, I sit it right here over my four tumblers that are turning right here. Um, I purchased this heater on Amazon. It's a great little space heater. And the awesome thing about it is this attachment. This attachment here attaches on here and you can actually feed it into the box. Um, I use a hole saw and I will insert a small part in the video here of me using the hole saw. It was a bit of a disaster because I'd never used a hole saw before. I used a hole saw to cut this small hole right here. It's a two and a half inch hole. Um, I took my hose, put it right here and drew it out first. And it was right about two and a half inches, just slightly under. So I used the two and a half inch hole saw, cut this hole out. This slips right in here. It goes onto my heater and my heater is able to heat this box. So the box has warm airflow going through it and it causes that epoxy, the heat causes that epoxy to dry so incredibly fast. Um, I haven't had any issues with any kind of dimpling or anything like that uh, doing it this way. Another benefit to it is having a, a tote over your tumblers as it keeps any dust particles uh, that are in the air. If you have pets, uh, if you have a husband that likes to vacuum constantly, it helps to keep any dust particles off of your tumblers. So even if I'm not heating my cups, I like to throw a tote over them to just keep anything off my tumblers, keep my tumblers looking perfect. So basically the way I've got this going is you put the tote over your four tumblers. Got, got my little space heater going right here. And the cool thing about this space heater is that it actually has a remote. So I can use the remote, turn it on, and I can set the timer to it. Uh, you can set the timer for 60 minutes, 120. I think it goes all the way up to like three or 400 minutes, which is absolutely insane because inside the heat box, you really don't need any more than an hour, hour and a half of heat. And that thing is, it's, your tumblers will be dry. It's amazing. So highly recommend it. I also like to throw the lid over the top. And if you, if you don't have a tumbler set or a turner set up like this, you can actually, um, you can put the lid to this tote on the back side of your turner to help hold that heat in a little bit better. And I'll show you an example of how I like to use that lid. So I'm gonna move it over 
right here to where I would normally have it sitting. I've got the lid here and I like to slide the lid just over the top here and it helps to hold any extra heat in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on so you can see exactly how it works. We'll turn my remote on. You can have it cool, you can do low heat, or you can do high heat. I personally like the high heat. I really like it to get warm inside this box and I can set, I don't know if you can see the um, menu down there, but I can set it for 60 minutes. I like to let them spin for 60 minutes and call it quits. So, I mean, that's perfect. And it heats up just perfectly to where it puts just the perfect amount of heat inside this box. Heat rises, so the heat will come up to the top of the box and it will fill the box pretty well. So prior to making this particular heat box, I had a little bit of a different heat box that I was using. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and I'll show you my setup for my other heat box. I like this one better because it contains the heat just a little bit better, but the other one that I had worked perfect for my Christmas orders. There's no way that I would have gotten all my Christmas orders done in time if I hadn't had this box. Okay, so this is my previous setup for my heat box that I used to knock out all of my Christmas orders. And I have basically a giant hole cut on this side of the plastic tote. And it's the same size as the other one. I bought this one at Lowe's as well. And it just, again, slides right over my tumblers. Um, I use this heater, which I also bought on Amazon. And I set it here, turned it on, put the lid over the top, like I did with the other box, and let it run. And this, this worked so well. It worked really, really well. Um, I just, I like the setup of the new box because it's a little bit more contained. My heater's not sitting quite as close to my cups. Um, but this, if you're, if you don't have a hole saw or anything like that, this works perfect because you can just cut the side out of this, uh, tote here, set a space heater up next to it and let it run. Like I said, it only needs to run for an hour, two at the very most, and it's completely ready to handle. So... I'm going to link both of the heaters down in the description box where I purchased them on Amazon so you can check out the links below if you are interested in purchasing either of these space heaters. Honestly, any space heater will do. It's These are the two that I used. Um, I really like the one with the hose on it because I'm, like I said, I'm able to keep it, keep the heat directed in just this box. I have very minimal heat loss and it's perfect for what I'm doing. I'm also going to link the other products that I like to use for tumblers down in the description box, so be sure to check them out. Also, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button to see more tutorials on how I like to do my tumblers, what works best for me, and different tumbler designs. Thank you for watching my tutorial on how I made my heat box. I really hope you found it helpful. I hope you have a very happy new year. Take care.